Yeah, so good. Uh, let's check. Um, Olivet, last time I checked, it was 14 to 10 Olivet. They just scored. Yeah. Um, I'll give you an update when I can. Yeah. Territory. Johnson drops back to pass, fires incomplete to his intended receiver, Reese Ware, as a pop hit and out on Johnson, gets up very slowly as he makes his way to the sidelines, and we'll up a fourth down and sixth situation. How back to receive this kick, this is a low end over end, Wormburner, that gets a lion bounce all the way down inside the 20 yard line and rolls out of bounds at the 17. Howard just lets it bounce. First and 10 for the Dutchman. They'll have the win in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead, 65 to 12. Third straight game that they've scored a 50 plus points and the tie a game record for most of the five games in a season. They did that last year, and they also did it twice in 1984. So the most offenses in Hope College football history come in 11th in the nation, averaging almost 48 a game. Take over to be. first and ten. A lot of the starters' days were done after the first quarter. <laughs> There's Joey Stark. He's got Romano, the running back, behind him on first down. Give to Stark. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Falls forward for a couple. Secondary stop by Dan Stapleton, a sophomore out of Alberta, Michigan. Now, here's a nice tidbit. Michael Stapleton was on the college football team last year. And he transferred to Finlandia, getting a lot of playing time. Third on the team in tackles. So he gets a tackle. Second down, pick up a four by Romano, man in motion. That is McIntyre. Get straight up the middle, hole closing quickly, but able to squirm through to the 29. And that's going to be a first down. Getting just enough for the first down is Romano. First and 10 from their own 29. So that guard is for a first down. Clock at 13.05 and counting. Hope in no hurry. They've only put the football in the air five times today. One receiver in the slot near side, that's Tyler Sprague, the junior from Saginaw. He's in motion. Fake the handoff to Sprague. Give. Two stars up the hill. Busted the outside 40. 45. Midfield or more inside line territory. On the sleigh of hand. Finally brought down there for a big game by Shane Vargas. And now they for moving the chains 24 yards on the pitch. We've seen that play a few times today. Faking the jet sweep to the receiver. Stark gets the answer. And he's over the 50 yard mark rushing. Hope over the 300 yard mark rushing for the second consecutive week. 22 against Albion in the win. 48 yard line. And Hobbin last week. Now Hope in Lion territory. 12 17 left in the ball game. Hope leads 65 to 12. Two slot receivers on another side and hit in the backfield in the fumble that pops right back into the chest of Bryce Stark. It's 
stop in the backfield by Christian Fink. Fink on the carry is knocked down behind the line of scrimmage. Tackler in the MI double number 52, Christian Creighton. Loss of two on the play. Creighton had 17 tackles last week in the loss to Kalamazoo, two and a half for loss. That puts up to the second down and 12 possession. He's a, he's a big kid, six foot, 200 pounds. He is quick. Little linebacker, he lines up. Lost of one for Stark, second down and 11. H back to the right, slot back to the left. Yeah, power sweep, near side. Working his way along the sideline, finally dances out of bounds at the 41. Mark him at the 41. The bottom of that ball bounds. Seven yards. Bring up second down and four for the Dutchman. Content just to keep it on the ground. 32 down and never see him. Yeah, he has a play. Brings up a... Third down and we got a great quarterback in the ball game for Hope College. Number 18, that's Chase Brown. Freshman out of Comstock Park, Michigan. Had a fantastic career in high school. So Joey Stark's day is done. Snapping his hands together is Brown. Yeah, power run, Ramada. First down, more 30. And fourth down for 29. Just a straight angle out of tackle play. You saw that a lot of those players. Connor Mellon used that to his advantage to rush for over 100 yards in the win against Alpine. Now Garcia. we see Romano doing it once again. For another first down. A lot of guys getting rushing touches today. First and 10 for Hope. They're at the Finlandia 28. Blake Hawk at 15. Chase Brown goes to the sidelines. No huddle offense for the Flying Dutchman. Each back trips bunch lines up as Heshock now in motion. Lines up on the left side on first down. Bryce Dark right over center. He tries to backpedal his way for a few yards. Down to 25. So his forward progress carries him. Jordan Reasoner, the sophomore out of Grand Blanc, Michigan. Goodrich High School product. Getting some action. At center for Hope on the line. He had a two on the play. Pick up of two by Stark, second down, down and eight. Ball between the hash marks at the 26 of Finlandia. Finlandia 0-5 on the year, trying to win their first MIAA game in their history. This is only their second year. They were 0-10 last year. High snap, power three. Cutting to the outside of Stark. Looking for the first down marker he gets it. Moore's he's run out of bounds. Kind of a late tackle. Running by Stark, caught the seam on the outside, turn it back out, the the chain, the the down. Down. Back in. Stark back out on first and ten, all the way down to the 16 of the Lions. We've had just all one score in the second half, 16 to 12 at the end of the first half, and 58 to 12 at halftime. Landy ahead of. 6-0 lead, 20 seconds into this ball game. First and 10, working left to right with the wind on the far hash. Handoff, great tackle, working his way outside. Romano busts off the tackle, 10, 5, working from the near pylon, reaches for the pylon. And I'm going to save him out to 3. Romano bounces the run outside, knocked out of bounds for number 32, Daniel Garcia. Lemons on the tackle. Landing a three yard Not line. Before picking up big, big yardage, and now first half goal to goal. Landia player yeah. down at the two yard line. Finlandia already hurt by injuries this year. They only dressed 29 this afternoon. One of the linemen, I cannot tell the number. Let's hope we'll have a first and goal situation at the three as they tend to this player. On the near side. He's lying on his back. Looks like they're looking at his left knee. The landing players with their defense all on one knee. Updated scores in the MIAA while we have a moment. Olivet, you know, touchdown in the second quarter. 14 to 10 over Trine. That one with 27 seconds remaining until halftime. So all of that trying to remain perfect on the season, trying to hand try their third straight conference loss. Albion leads Kalamazoo 7-0. That's early. 10-48 left in the first frame in that one from Kalamazoo. Alma and Adrian. Bulldogs hosting that one from Adrian. That's a 5 o'clock start. I'm 
want to say that that's Ronnie Keener, the nose tackle for Finlandia. That is not. I stand corrected. That's uh, number 50, Thomas Novakovich, the freshman linebacker out of Florence, Kentucky. I don't know. He's able to help him off. He's putting no weight on that left leg. Florence giving him a round of applause. Finlandia, very thin in the depth department. They've got a couple two way players, and you commend them for their fighting spirit. Just keep battling. Travis Wiltius in his second season. He's got a young program, he's got a thin team in the numbers department, but they're scrapping, they're playing very hard today. First and goal for the Dutchman, Chase Brown has Romano behind him. He's got McIntyre in the slot on the left side, far side, on first and goal. Two receivers near side. Gibb, Romano, off left tackle, he's in, touchdown, Dutchman. They're gonna say he's down at the one. I stand corrected. Romano off the middle, knocked down short of the goal line. Knocked down just short. Good goal line stance by the Lions. Good block by Cole Hart, the freshman out of Muskegon Oak Ridge with the initial seed. Linebackers close quickly for Finlandia. They'll bring up second down a goal. Ball at the half yard line of Finlandia. Hope just trying to punch it in. They're up comfortably, 65-12. I think everybody who's been able to play today on the travel roster has been able to get into the ball game. On second down, high snap, give to Romano. This time he's in for the touchdown, off left tackle. Touchdown, Dutchman. Romano, over the left guard for a touchdown. Career, nice rushing touchdown for the Flying Dutchman. Comes with 8.01 left here in the ball game. He knocks it in from a yard out. Albritton on to kick the extra point. Here's Sam Albritton, the reigning special teams MIAA Player of the Week. Well, we got activity as Ronnie Keener put a forearm shiver into J Jacob Robinson's chest and knocks him back. That might be a malfeasance against Finlandia. Jacob Robinson, the freshman out of Boyne City, Michigan, getting some action today for Hope in the special teams department. False start on the offense. Well, this could be a false start on the offense. Five yard penalty. It'll be a five yard mark off, so now this will be a 25 yard extra point. Red on the snap, David Boss on the hold. And Sam Albritton trying to bang this one through. He's been perfect today. Kick is up. That one is good. Albritton has a point as good. 70. Hope for the lead over Finlandia. And they've had a season high in their total yards department today against a very good Hope football team. So you take a little bit of a, uh, some silver lining when you can. I would have expected Finlandia to win the ball game if they showed some grit. They've had some impressive plays. They've had some good third down conversions. I hope just a little bit too strong and a little bit too deep. Eight minutes and one second remaining. Hope's going to win their fifth straight in this one. They'll move to five and one and kind of set up that showdown next week against Olivet. Even on the Comets. We'll have the pregame show at 12.40 from Ray and Sue Smith. Well, check that. That's actually from the Comets Athletic Center. They're going to be on the road. Steve and Alma game against Alma on the road and then home against Alma. So two teams that are tied with hope in the MIAA standings at 2-0. It's going to be another tough stretch for the Flying Dutchman. Big booming kick. Field it at the goal line. Josh Eves is going to bring it out. Change the direction. Get him, man! Get him! Stay home! Nice job! Justin Freeman, the senior, from West Ottawa. Stay home. Filled his lane and made the tackle. Freeman, a top-notch sprinter for Hope College. Playing his first season of football, he's a All kickoff pitcher. Yeah, 13 yard line, first down line. Gets a play in the secondary. Gets his first action. David Clark. 
Clark lines up here quarterback, Mr. Heinz Jr. Darren Johnson. Gives to his running back, Bailey Harris, a freshman from Worley Stanwood High School. Tries an outside right tackle, bounces it off a tackler. Going to scrimmage starting Bailey at the Harris, 13. Harris off the, the right 15, side. The 60. For a short game. Three yard pickup brings up second and seven. Bailey Harris last year. Three yards in the play brings up second and seven for the Lions. Leading for the Lions. He had 46 yards on 17 carries. 17 carries, a career high for him. He's third on the team in total rushing yards coming in. He lines up behind the quarterback, Johnson. Each back, full back, lines up left side on second down and seven. Hope three on the front defensive line. Yeah. Harris trying to pick his way, bides his time, cuts back inside towards the center of the field. Coming down to the scrum by all the white jerseys for Hope. Hey, Harris, Harris stacked up on the Tochi checks in. Darren Darrell Cholbert, Cholbert checks out after a pickup of two, opening up third down. Yeah, two on the play brings up a third down and three yards to go for Florence. Ethan Riley in on the stop for the Flying Dutchman. Riley, a big kid. 6'4", 250. He's from Down River area, Trenton. Trenton High School product. Third down and three for Finlandia. Hope up 72 to 12. Second straight year they've had 70 points against Finlandia. That pass complete to Kajawa. First down and ball. Oh, yeah. And a at the 25. I think Hope picks it up with the Kajawa made the pass. And the fourth turnover by Fumble of the Fumbles. day for Finlandia. They had seven turnovers today. And Hope business business at the 20 of Finlandia. Not sure who picked up the fumble recovery. That's a happy bench on the side of the bench right in front of us. We're very close to the yard line here in Finlandia at McAfee Field. Literally 30 feet away from the guys. Low stands. So you can hear a lot of the energy, a lot of the talk going on between coaches and players and vice versa. First and ten for Hope. New quarterback in the game for the Flying Dutchman. And the running back, Bryce Stark, running hard. He's finally corralled from behind, not before picking up five or six. There's Eli Salem, the quarterback out of Okemos High School. Bryce Stark on the carry for the freshman. So Hope has used four quarterbacks in this game. Mason Oppel. And one quarter of play is one for three. There's a flag on the play. Is there a flag on the play? That's going to be a holding call. Holding call on Dutchman. Brady Beck using the sophomore tight end out of cold water. Oh, yeah. This is the second penalty of the day for Hope. Ten yard penalty. Seven. Hope 72 from Landia 12. That'll push the football all the way back to the oh, Finlandia yeah. 30. The first down in 19. Speaking of Oppel today, Oppel carried one time, and he was dropped for a loss and passed only three times. So not going to help his stat sheet, but he doesn't care. Power sweep. Start. Juke move outside to the original line of scrimmage. And more dancing down the sideline. Pushed out of bounds with the 20 to the 15. Nifty run. He stayed in bounds. I don't know how he did. He finally Very pushed out of bounds. The carry is knocked out of bounds. Number 33. 15. Make it a 16 yard pickup exactly by Stark. Right. So Stark will have a career day in the rush department. Romano certainly will. RJ Peshock has been. Really the steady H-back for the Flying Dutchman. Second down and Beckler short. went out after the first quarter out. just because the starters were done. So you're seeing the future of Hope football right now. Mike Miller lines up the receiver on the far side. Go Hope! On second and two, big pickup. Fumble of the football. Salem keeps with the quarterback. Tries to go over left tackle. Still on his feet, fighting down to the 10. It's going to be off the no. throw. to see who they mark. Number 19, Eli Sarah. Rotating running back, so they bring up third down and in inches. Here's the flying Dutchman. Short game. Bringing up a third down and Hope one. Up to the UP the today. Dutchman. A long bus ride yesterday. 500 plus miles and then some. Taking 
care of business here on the road. They're two and one in road games now in 2019. After that season opening loss in Decatur, Illinois against a very good Milliken team. Third down and one. Salem, tall, lanky quarterback, gets another little snap. Pinner to Romano, over center, bounces to the outside, and he fights his way down to the five. Lock at 4, 10, and counting. Gain of 6 on the play. Brings up a first down to goal to goal. Gets to 5, it's like 2 in the season. 72. Trying to knock on the door. They, they wouldn't get it in this transaction. If they get the touchdown in, they'll certainly just go for the extra point. It's not pass the football. Maybe one time in the second half. Out of the ground. Season high in rushing yard. People we'll have all the numbers. Salem calls his own number. Second effort. Hit high. Spun around. And they mark him in for touchdown. Salem pushes it in. Salem on the quarterback. Keeper. Getting his first action of the season. And he gets his first career rushing touchdown. And that extends the lead to 78-12. All their nine he gets some high fives and some head bumps. He gets, he gets some big time congratulations from Riley Schultz in Salem. Pounds it in from a yard out. Extra point attempt by Albritton on the hold from David Boss is good. Making your score of hope 79 and your commander Lions 12. How about these for numbers? Over the last three games, they scored 182 points. All in conference play 51 against Trine, 52 against Albion, 79 against the Finlandia Lions. Well, I hope just one point off the school record of most points scored in a game. It's an eight against Defiance in week two. It's some sort of offense this year. Here's Hilger to boot it away. Hilger to kick for Hope College. Uyawa and he back to receive the line. He'll go with a high kick. He'll carry it near side as Kachap watches him roll through the end zone out of bounds. First and 10 for Lady. 25. 79 points from the end zone. Points, goal 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 points goal. allowed by Finlandia here in 2019. They gave up 63. They lost all of that a couple of weeks ago. How about this for the last five games? Hope's opening season. Lost to Milliken 27-21. Hope has won, will have won five straight, scoring 80, 34, 